Hi, I'm Brent, you're watching Seam Culture. Just about everyone has seen a combine in action. You, as a kid, you're driving down the road and you see the combine in the field bringing in the grain or rice. All over the world, combines are at work. And uh, you remember when you're driving down the road at night and you'd see the big lights on the combine? That was like, that was like my favorite. Now, the combine, like most machinery, has a story and it has a start. Now, why is it called a combine? Because it's a combination of a couple things. See, harvesting the grain and threshing the grain years ago were separate activities. The combine brought them together. Combination, combine. That's where it's got its name. Well, the first combine was actually pulled by a horse. In fact, the biggest combines had a team of 40 horses to pull them and they could bring in about 40 acres a day. Well, in 1886, George Berry had a better idea. He had a steam-powered combine, which is the first self-propelled combine in history. It could bring in 100 acres a day. Now, here's what's really significant about this. It was powered by biomass, first of its kind. Who knew, right? Well, what he was doing is the straw that would come out of the back of the combine, he would gather that up, put that in the boiler, and burn it for fuel. So really, it was renewable fuel source. The other thing is that he created its own power transfer mechanism, or PTO, if you drive up any kind of tractor or mower, you know what a PTO is. Well, the steam from the tractor engine, he would pull off steam to power a secondary engine that ran the harvester. So, pretty smart guy, pretty cool. So, right here on Steam Culture, you have learned about the steam-powered combine. So, go Google it. Before you do, you know how it works. You gotta stop at our place. We got, we got stuff for you each and every week for you to learn about things, steamy. That's what we're after. Thanks for joining us. See you next week.